Hi everybody, welcome to my studio. I am Kim Vanderhoek and in today's video I thought I would give you a sneak peek at what I'm currently working on and if you haven't seen this already on my social media or in my email newsletter uh, show you what I have finished and talk to you guys about where the inspiration for these these particular paintings came from so keep watching if you want to see more so a couple years ago I was flying home from an outdoor painting event in Door County Wisconsin which is Door County Plain Air and I had a window seat and I looked out the window during takeoff and saw this fantastic view of the green farmland with these big puffy clouds floating by in the sky. So I snapped a few pics and figured, yeah, maybe one day I'll get around to painting that. And a couple years later, uh, I painted this five by seven color study, but I loved how it turned out. I liked the color, I liked um, some of the design elements, I liked the big clouds and figured it would make a wonderful large painting. So as you can see, you guys, this painting on the left is a larger version of the small piece that I just showed you. The painting on the right is the piece that I just started yesterday. Both of these panels are 30 by 40 inches and you can see that I have carried my perspective lines and some of my farmland and even the rear end of this cloud continued the design that's happening over here onto this painting so that possibly these two could be displayed side by side. Um, one of the things I love to do is work thin to thick and have a variety of layers and textures in my paintings. It's hard to see in a photo, so I wanna zoom in and show you guys. This is an area that's really thin wash of paint, some thicker palette knife work. If we go up here, um, this is, again, a real thin area where you can see some brush marks. And then as I build up the layers in the painting, uh, the paint can get thicker and thicker. So I work out the overall design with the cloud with a paintbrush, you can see the brush marks, and then I'll come on top with some thicker palette knife um, areas of paint. And even in the farmland, I got some thick and thin paint going on. Over here is one of my favorite spots. Let's see, let's see, look at those little curls. I love those little paint curls. They're so much fun and they're so fragile. Okay, let's move over to the one that I just started yesterday. So this is almost all wet paint. All the dark green areas and the, the lighter bluish areas, that's all applied, thin applied paint that I worked on yesterday. I hope you've enjoyed listening to uh, my thought process behind the inspiration and the creation of these paintings. And thanks so much for watching.